ओके गुड मॉर्निंग ऑल सो इन दिस प्रॉब्लम दिस इज प्रॉब्लम नंबर टू फ्रॉम सॉल्यूशन बुक सो इन दिस प्रॉब्लम यू हैव टू कंस्ट्रक्ट ए स्क्वेयर प्रिज्म ऑफ बेस साइड थर्टी एक्सेस लेंथ सिक्सटी ओके रेस्टिंग ऑन एच पी विथ ऑल द वर्टिकल बेसिस इंक्लाइन टू इट ओके सो वी हैव टू कंस्ट्रक्ट द डेवलपमेंट ऑफ दिस ओके फर्स्ट आई एल बी कंस्ट्रक्टिंग ए स्क्वेयर प्रिज्म ओके ऑफ डायमेंशन थर्टी so before that uh, i'll be drawing an xy line first okay so here you can see i'm drawing an square here square at dimension 30 30 and angle 45 degree okay you can show the dimension for one side you can write the namings so we have to write the namings in small case letters okay so doing the projection line so drawing the projection line here ओके द फ्रंट वी एक्सिस लेंथ इट इज 60 60 एम एम इट इज ए स्क्वेर विजम मीन्स वी हैव टू गेट ए रेक्टांगुलर फेस इन द फ्रंट व्यू so the front and top view of the square prism front and top view of the square prism it is done now we can show the dimension okay so now we have to draw the section plane which is there at a height of 50 mm from the base okay and it is exactly cutting the axis at a height of 50 so for that i'll be drawing a 50 mm line from the base exactly from the center on the axis i'll be drawing a another 50 mm line okay so go to line so from the bottom i'm going to draw that will be convenient okay 50 minus 10 uh, 50, 60 minus 50 means 10 but i'll be drawing from the bottom okay so from the bottom 50 mm length so i've drawn one line For reference, and then I'm drawing a section plane. I'm taking this as axis plane. Now giving the angle 60 degree. Okay, so that's what I can see. That angle of inclination will be 60 degree here. So type 60 and enter. Okay. So after this, go to next and extend this line. Okay, this is where it is cutted. Okay, this is how it is cutted. Now we can show the angle for this section plane. okay angle of inclination it is 60 degree now we have to uh, we can uh, give the naming here so that is one it is where it is cutted again on the a point it is one again here same on the a edge now two point number 2 it is falling on a vertical edge b okay and then point number 3 you can see it is not falling on the c it is falling somewhere in between b and c okay somewhere in between that's why we'll be drawing an projection line from this intersection of these two point uh, by projecting it you can see this is not falling on the b it is falling in between b and c so that's why we have to draw an another line here i'll be making that that line as a continuous line so we can give that is 3 and here you can see again if i write the point number 4 so that is not falling on the d it is falling in between c and d okay that's why point number 4 then point 5 it is falling on the exactly on the vertical edge d here okay now we have done the done with the namings now we have to project it you can see that so we have to project it okay so <coughs> so i can use the split command uh, to highlight only the 
retained cut portion okay so for that i'll be using the uh, this split command using the split command we can split it exactly where we want to make the lines dark okay we have to dark only the portions which has been cut by the section plane the retained cut portions okay so other lines i'm going to make it thin lines okay thin lines by selecting it by selecting these lines i'll be making it as thin lines okay okay now we got it the cut it portion now we have to do the development so draw the projection lines from here okay so draw the continuous line here now we take vertical edge because this is an parallel line method this is an parallel line method because it is a prism so draw vertical line anywhere you can take a straight vertical line okay okay now uh, here you can see the dimension it is 30 totally there are four faces in the square prism so using the offset command i'll be giving the distance of 30 and then i will click for four times okay i'll get the four faces here i'll make all these lines as continuous okay okay now you can see by projecting the uh, from point 1 so i'm getting point number 1 on a so okay so i can do that so you can see first we have to write the naming c a b c d capital a capital b so that indicates we'll get the exact vertical edges a b c d a and now we can give the naming so 1 and 1 we are getting on the vertical edge a okay and the uh, vertical edge b we having a point number 2 that also we can project it point 2 and 5 we are getting on the same point but i'm not getting the intersection here so i can use the split command here so that i can get the exact point here i'll go to split command and split it exactly where the section plane is cutting okay so now i'm getting the exact point from here i'm going to project it horizontally to get the point number 2 and 5 on the b and d okay just by projecting the thin line so here i'll get point number 2 and point number 5 okay now you can see point number 3 and 4 not falling on the exact vertical edges it is falling at a distances okay from b to c and from b to 3 and 5 to d these two distance were same so i think that's not the way to measure it so this is the length we should measure again i am going for this uh, uh, split command okay so split command using the split command i will get this exact length from uh, phi to d so that phi to d it is exactly same that is from 3 to b to 3 okay i will split it i mean this is 8.16 this is what the correct length okay this is what the current length correct length because we are exactly cutting this uh, section plane at a distance of 50 mm from the base on the axis line okay this is correct exact uh, thing we are doing it now using arc as arc by center method so we can cut the arc from vertical edge 2 2 to from 2 to 3 that is what 8.16 we can give the radius 8.16 and cut the arc okay the same length again from phi to d phi to d is also the same length so the radius same it is 8.16 we have to give and cut the arc okay okay now uh, with the continuous line thick line so we have to join all these one two points okay one two uh, three four five and one again okay so that's what the cutted uh, portion cutted retained portion so we'll join it with a thick line okay try to join it with a thick line here so try to get the intersection point exactly
Okay, so this lines I should make it a thick lines. Okay, by selecting the holding a control button, you can make these lines as thick lines. Okay, zero point five zero. In the remaining line, this is what the cut portion we have to show in the dark lines. Okay, in the remaining lines, we should show with the thin lines here. Okay, here he has did the mistake. He has cutted the line for 45 mm, but in the question they have given for 50. So he has done mistake in the solution book. That's not correct. So I have done correctly. Okay. So what we get that is 8.61 line. That is exactly correct answer because in the solution book he has taken that you can see 15 from the top corner that is not correct ok if you have to take exactly 50 mm so that is what we have done ok that is the correct answer. Now we are going to show the retained cut portion in a thick line and the other lines we are going to show it with a thin line ok. So I am going to split it. So these lines I should show with the thin lines by selecting these lines I will make this lens lines as thin lines okay 0 0.13 you can subscribe for this channel okay and share it to maximum students so they get benefited you can like the video and hit on the bell icon for the latest notifications okay so so that completes the problem you can see that so everything it is completed so with respect to the question okay in the solution book so they have done the mistake but i have done correctly in the software okay thank you all